Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, again, in overdrive, David, very touching. I should have gone to callers earlier, but we had a guest on. Finishing up any points you wanted to make about being reunited. You know, Even though this, this daughter that's half your wife and this other man, uh, but now you have five children with her, she didn't... Uh, get rid of the baby i would imagine that daughter means as much to you even though you're not genetically her father as the other children is that right that's right i mean she just she's one of my own now i mean it's it's a uh, you know I, I drive a truck for a living that she lives in texas has two beautiful daughters i get to go down and see them frequently and uh we just all I'll always get to go out eat dinner and have a great time i know her you know adopted dad uh she had two adopted brothers. So, I mean, she, you know, she had a wonderful life. I mean. And shows family and now community and now the the brotherhood of humanity, the sisterhood of humanity, the, the togetherness, uh, choosing life. God bless you. Wonderful story. Amazing. Jason in Missouri, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. How you doing, man? I'm all right, brother. Thanks for holding. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, I'll be quick. I got two quick stories and a plug. Um, first one is when my mom and dad first got together when they were teenagers in the 70s, she got pregnant. My grandpa forced her to get an abortion. And um, a year later, she got pregnant again and had me. And all these years later, every time her and him would talk about it, they'd just start breaking down crying. And she is all messed up. And she finally, when she forgave herself and realized she was forgiven, she goes to the um, abortion clinic and stands outside and gives her testimonies to the girls that go in there or on, on their way in there hoping to stop them. Well, that's what you've got to do. You've got to, for people that have been involved in it, it's key to, to get God to forgive you, forgive yourself, but then you got to fight it. And, and that's why they're going to lose this dehumanization fight because so many people, after they do it, almost all of them turn against it later. Or they become hardcore Satanist, uh, hardcore feminist, uh, who are anti-woman, anti-human. I mean, it's just incredible. Gloria Steinem, all these pigs uh, who have all these kids and everything, and are, and are just, just they just want everything for themselves. They think more humans means less for them. They're just scum. And I really appreciate your testimony. Anything else? Yeah, um, and then we—I have five kids of my own, and my last two, the doctors kept trying to tell me. If, um, First one said she didn't have no arms and was going to have kidney problems, so we should get rid of her. And we was like, well, we'll just see what happens, and she's healthy. And the second one, they tried to tell she didn't have arms or legs. And we had her, and she was healthy. Yeah, no, that's and something they do a lot now. If, if you go into evil, evil doctors or evil facilities, is they'll lie to you, uh, hoping you'll kill the kid. Yeah, there's a lot of deception going on. And then the next, right quick, we have a, have a group on Facebook. It's a um, info wars kind of um, group called United States Militia, and what do you do? You can get on there and get linked up through the files to your individual states and meet like-minded patriots to get together to um, support your local political leaders. If you don't have any, find some. And uh, very, very exciting. People should check that out. I'm going to do more overdrive the twenty after. So I'm going to I'm going to give her. Thank you, thank you, Jason. Because uh, I've got to get to Anthony, Peachy, and, and James, and, and then that'll be it. But they've been holding, so I'm going I'm to stay here to talk to them. And maybe a few others, 800-259-9231, to briefly tell us your take on abortion or your experience. Very touching, very powerful to talk about these human stories. We should open the phones up about people on SSRIs. We should open the phones for, for CPS stories. Though I, I just can't handle it because I empathize and I know how it works and I just can't handle it. Uh, so I just, I just, I've got to have some of my own selfishness involved. That's the thing, man. I do this so much, folks, that it really does get to me at a fundamental level. Uh, and I'm not whining about it. I just, you know, I start thinking about it. I've done those shows before, and I just... We're going to come back after this break. And I got some other news. There's a story, fastcompany.com. It's up on drudgereport.com. 
that, that, that ties into the robots, how they're turning humans into robots with the video games, making it the ultimate killing machine. And the Pentagon admits this. We're going to talk about it on the other side as well. They're selling us a culture of death. If you're a baby boomer or senior, please listen closely to this important message. Politicians in Washington are quietly plotting to decrease your Social Security payments drastically, and they want to do it soon. In fact, despite rising prices at the gas pump, grocery store, and doctor's office, retirees have received a mere 1.3% annual increase to their Social Security checks. Meanwhile, food stamp recipients have seen their payouts increase over 30% under the Obama administration. That's shocking. So when we stumbled upon a weird trick that could add up to $1,000 to your monthly Social Security checks, we knew we had to share it with you. To get started, simply go to MyBenefits311.com. Yes, it's true. You can take simple steps that could add up to $1,000 to your monthly Social Security payouts. Newsmax says MyBenefits311.com is a critical resource for anyone over 50. Go to MyBenefits311.com now. That's MyBenefits311.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials. Commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. If you don't love humanity, if you don't love the innocence, if you can demon demonize and dehumanize children, little babies, and say kill kids up to age three, kill all the handicapped, Notice it's the same state that says it loves the handicapped and is politically correct and don't call them disabled, don't call them handicapped and oh, you know, you know, don't uh, talk about black issues because you're not black or don't talk about white. It's all about shutting up and being afraid and information is bad and keep your mouth shut. We're being dominated. We're being beat over the head. <clears throat> and they've redefined everything. Um, I forget the name of the medical procedure in cows. We, I did it quite a few times, the off and on, the um, probably all total, about a year plus I work for a large animal vet. I do it on some summers, and then one time I got sent down there for about nine months. Uh, I basically didn't go to school for a year because I was getting fights like every three days. I mean, it was insane. Because, uh, you know, I'd beat, this guy start a fight, and I'd beat them up, and then their older brother would come and find me, and they'd pull into a Sonic, and two guys jump out of a car. Like, kind of gang stuff, and I didn't even realize it. I was a kid. Kid, I was too stupid. But I don't know why I just went off into that story. You know, I tell stories and actually how the memory comes up, I tell it. <clears throat> but there was procedures. I guess I could call Jess Adkins and ask him the name of that when uh, you'd try to save the calf when it was breech birth or whatever going in. But you didn't call it an abortion if it died during the procedure. 
And then sometimes uh, with people's dogs that were sick, they'd come in that were pregnant. And, uh, you know, they'd say, sorry, you know, uh, you know, the puppies are going to die or they're sick or they're, they're malformed or, you know, whatever. And um, it wasn't even called an abortion. You just went in and removed them. Um, so, uh, again, in that case, yes, uh, this, this birth is growing outside your uterus and is going to kill you. It's not an abortion. But I get the pro-life thing of don't even give in to that. But my heart tells me that's okay. The ish, and I go with my heart, my conscience. God put it there. God says, no, you know, with medical science, woman's going to die. Baby's outside the uterus. I forget the name of that as well. I'm not a doctor. What's it called? A tubal pregnancy? Yeah. And there's another one too where it's not just in the tubes. It actually gets it. But the, the point is, the problem is then they lie though. It's a Planned Parenthood city affiliated deal. And they'll tell you your kid's a tubal or whatever when it's not. So there's also that problem. You need to get second opinions on things like that. But if it's an emergency and there's hemorrhaging or whatever, and I forget the name of that medical procedure uh, on mammals, uh, but particularly to humans, because you don't usually know or do the, I don't want to digress. I said I'd go to your calls. I'm just kind of wargaming this out in my head that if a woman's got hemorrhaging at four months or five months and they go in, you know, obviously the woman's going to die. You got to remove the baby. And then so, it's just a miscarriage, basically. The baby's unviable. At four or five months, it dies. No, nobody's guilty. The, the, the doctor's a hero and the nurses are heroes having to look at that. Let me tell you something, folks. I've looked at dead puppies and kittens with rich people that could bring them in and have emergency surgeries. And I've looked at dead horses, baby horses, and I've looked at dead baby cows, and I don't like that. I could not sit there, even though you're saving lives, and be around dead babies. I mean, I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm a wimp. And then those doctors and people have got, they, they die young, 55, 56, because it's stressful on the heart, folks, to be that, that, that type of professional. And uh, I admire people like that, quite frankly. Uh, it's just that uh, it, it's all a big cop-out, folks. If the woman's hemorrhaging, the baby's going to die anyways. It's not, a, it's not an abortion. Not an abortion. But they've defined, it's all deception. They look at each issue and decide, how do we manipulate this situation for what, to make it not look reasonable? And they go, oh, you know, you can't ever have, you know, even for the woman's life, just both of you are supposed to die. Like you're out in a covered wagon out west or something. I'm done talking about it. Um, let's go to Anthony in Florida on abortion. Thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, Alex, what's going on? Um, great topic today. Um, I work with kids at a hospital, a children's hospital, and um, I, I've been there for three years now. And um, there's a lot of things that you see um, when you work with, uh, with kids um, that you don't see outside. You know, if you don't, if you're not working with these sick kids, if you're not working, uh, you know, with the kids with, uh, you know, cerebral palsy or, you know, uh, uh, cystic fibrosis, um, all these horrible diseases, um, and how they're fighting for their life, um, you know, growing up, uh, some of them are 14, 12 years old, 14, 15 years old. And um, it, they're on all these, you know, painkillers and all these medications, and they're just fighting for their lives. And we, I listen to to the show, and um, you know, it's it's just all these kids that were most likely just regular kids were going to have a regular life, um, growing up, have have families, you know. The, 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 they're all gone. You know, it's uh, how many? How, how many have died from these? Uh, well, that's right. We fight to keep disabled children alive. And the eugenicists say get rid of them. But the old timer said once you start getting rid of even the most, you know, deformed, hurt, painful kids, then it's going to be everybody. And that's now what it's leading to. Because once you open Pandora's box, once you let the genie out of the bottle, it doesn't get put back in without hell on earth and World War II type stuff. And... Absolutely. Well, they're taking healthy, beautiful babies that in 100% of the time, unless the woman's a psychopath and the dad's a psychopath, if they could see their child at birth or at one year old, that parent would kill you. Imagine someone who's had an abortion and then you show up five years later, they've had another kid and the kid's two years old now. Okay, let's say they have an abortion. Three years later, they have another kid. 
and, and then a few years later, you know, whatever, the kid's three, four, five, whatever, you show up and you say, I'm here to chop your child up with a butcher knife. Or I brought a sickle and I'm going to cut them up. I guarantee you even a little wind.